Hello everybody, the long-awaited arsenal update is finally out in RoboQuest, and with it, it brought nine new weapons and two new NPCs, but what I was looking forward to the most was one weapon in particular, and as most people who watch my content might know, it was the shurikens. It's the most kunai-adjacent weapon we've gotten since I got my hands on the kunai, and although it doesn't work quite the same, I have fallen in love with it. So, hope you enjoy it once we get our hands on it, and just uh, let me know what you think of the Arsenal update in the comments below. Now, crit is my bread and butter. Even when I'm going for an elemental build, I am still looking to maximize crit as much as I possibly I can. It's just the way I like to play. So we went with the crit machine ranger for this playthrough. They really want me to have that, man. They're driving me kind of nuts with that. Um, I think that's better. Yeah, I, I think I'll I think I'll take that. I think I will take that junk rifle. We got a little bit of a buff, I think. Anyways, could be wrong. Shadow Strike right off the bat, yes please. Shadow Strike right off the bat is incredible because it allows us to stay invisible while we attack and gives us bonus damage for the duration as well. Void Hunter also increases that damage. Okay, Toaster, we take Toaster. We can get Ruins this time around. Oh, Shuriken, oh, oh, Shuriken. I had been hunting down the Shuriken all day long. It had been hours by this point and I was so excited to finally have it on Ranger. Gimme. Oh, they feel so good. Oh, man. They feel so good. Oh, yeah. There's a new NPC that can do this. And they deal cryo damage. His name is Willy Wonder, and I love him. Oh, yeah. We like that. We like that. Let's get it. Basically, he allows you to upgrade the rarity of your weapons, and you can put an extra affix on on top of the ones you already have, and this one cannot be rerolled unless you also go to him for that reroll. Seems like it's kind of hard to hit a crit with it. The reason I think it's hard to get a crit with it is because you can't get a crit with it. If anyone noticed, it actually doesn't have a crit value, similar to explosive weapons. This is indicative of a weapon not being able to manually crit from hitting weak spots. I thought that since this isn't an explosive weapon, it would function differently, but I was wrong, and the projectiles just can't crit on weak spot hits. It's actually the weapon's whole gimmick, not being able to manually crit, but insanely high crits. damage on crit. Are these not critable? Like, can I not hit crits? Is this like, is this an auto crit focused crit weapon? Cause that could be cool. You could like run Poppy on Ranger. Poppy would be invaluable to this build if we could find it because it massively like increases our auto crit chance, weapon. but takes away our ability to hit manual crits, which we already can't do with Shuriken. They're not meant to crit with no multiplier. It can't crit other than auto crit. Okay, so it can only auto crit. Gotcha, gotcha. We will increase our fire rate. Okay, auto crit could turn these things into something crazy then. I mean, they're you're supposed to go auto crit with them. They are a crit based weapon that cannot manually crit. So pray we find Poppy. They have really high base damage though it seems. Yes, keyboard, I understand you like ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yoink. Uh, floppy disk could be good. Or I could upgrade this to purple rarity. Don't know if I want to do that though. Shuriken have a bonus 10% auto crit chance and deal 75% increased crit damage when getting a crit intrinsically mm. without any affixes. With all the auto crit you can get with other skills, items, and affixes, you do not need Poppy, even though it is obviously the largest boon you can get for a build that you want to run shurikens in. Oh, he's cool. Alright. 
Yeah, these are cool. I'm a fan. They feel fun to use. They feel good. Of damage to make up for their lack of crit, but it makes me want to see what they do when they do crit. Once we get our build online a little bit more, we can, we can see for ourselves. I'm sorry, are there any purple areas in the ruins? I'm just now realizing this. I don't think there are. I, mean, I also might just be crazy, but... I don't think there are. Now, the gold area on the map is where the entrance to the scrapyards are. I have to go to the sewer to get my skill point, extra loot, and go to the scrapyards, but... Because I am still going for an S rank run, I want to kill as many ads as I can before I have to do that so that I can still S rank the ruins. Plus, it's just a little bit of extra XP too for more levels. Beastial Ferocity, we do like Beastial Ferocity. Although Sonar Spike is also incredible. Ooh, tough call, tough call. Um, I'm gonna take Beastial Ferocity. We'll take Sonar Spike if we end up not getting uh, a bull or a magnet. Passing up guaranteed marking capabilities are rough because marking enemies increases the damage they take by a stunning 50%. But there's an item called Bull that lets us mark by simply attacking. And on top of this, Magnet got a rework with the Arsenal update, and instead of doing electricity damage on Grapple, it now marks enemies only, giving us more marking potential in runs without the use of perks. Thank you for the follow, Zypher. Thank you so much. Appreciate ya. Increase maximum focus points by five. That could be good. Increases our, you know, crit damage. Uh, having stealth up faster is also nice, but I think I'm just going to increase our crit damage for when we start hitting those auto crits. We also chose Beastial Ferocity back there because it increases our attack speed for a duration after I use my invisibility, which in turn increases our damage by a lot. Mm -hmm. We can also reduce the cooldown on our invisibility by getting the tactical throw augment. Do, do, do. Well, that one's not even like an actual like purple room. Emily, that free upgrade room? Yeah, it's not even purple. That's a considered an orange room. Forgot how, whew, forgot how, foot, how dark it is here. Yeah, we'll take Ice Cube. Uh, yep, and there's Ball, baby, and Frog Prince. And I, I would rather have Frog Prince than Ice Cube, so that's okay. One thing I want to point out is that we didn't get an S rank on Ruins, and it said because I was too slow, even though I still had an S rank on my time meter below the minimap. I'm a little upset that we lost the S rank there, but I guess I'll just keep that in mind for future runs that I need to go even faster than what it says. I'm so happy to be in these new areas. The Junkyard, man, uh, Scrapyard or whatever. It feels so good to hear these soundtracks again. So for anyone wondering why I'm in the scrapyard, it is because, one, yes, the soundtracks are great and I love the way these other side areas look, I just don't have incentive to go back for them. That is, until the Arsenal update, where they added a new resource to the game that allows you to upgrade your epic weapons to fantastic weapons. For anyone that doesn't know the lingo, that's purple rarity to orange rarity.
I love this area. I might go here like a lot more often, honestly. I'm feeling for some auto crit though. I, I really want some auto crit in this build, like quick. Very quick. For shadow strike damage, yes please. Another 10% fire rate on top could be pretty crazy. Although I am a little short on power cells. I haven't fought these guys. I've only ever fought these guys once. The Gang of Elites only ever fought them once when I unlocked the Sarah the first time. Yeah, they're not too bad. That's crazy. Yo, what? That's whack. I'm sorry. Usually when you... Alright, I guess I'm not going Scrapyard anymore because I lose my S run. That's really silly. Usually when you go, like to a different map, it just gives you the S completion for the, the area. Because you, you can't go through the whole area, obviously. I only realized I was short on time during my editing. I still wish they'd have a separate meter under the minimap to show you if you were S rank for side areas, though. That's not cool. That's not cool. I just lost my S rank because I decided to go Scrapyard. You just can't go Scrapyard without getting an A in Ruins. Come on. I'm a little upset about that one. I guess Scrapyard was cool, but that's the last time I'm going. I will return to Scrapyards. I just need to make sure to go extremely fast in Ruins from here on out. This is still an S rank run in my heart, okay? That's all that matters. I am loving the shuriken though. The shuriken are great. Hey man, it's gotta get poppy in here and we're chilling. 
Wait a minute. Can you roll, um... What's the one affix that lets explosives crit? Can you roll that onto this as well? Spike? I think it's spiky. Can you roll spiky on Javelin? Because if you can just make this thing hit regular crits, it should just chunk. Yoink. Can we go home and try the update? Yeah, the update's great, Guardian. The update is phenomenal. Absolutely loving it. These weapons are a blast, and... I, honestly, Summoner Engineer was a really good time as well. Unfortunately, it crashed my game, so I'm not gonna try Summoner Engineer until that gets addressed. Uh, because that's, apparently that's a common occurrence right now. So, I recommend not trying out Summoner Engineer yet. Wait until they roll out a fix for the amount of summons you can have on the field at once. Oh yeah, we take cherries there. Uh, and we take cucumber there. And honestly, guys, I'm gonna be real, I think we could do Do Doom Gardens. I think we could do Doom Gardens and I'm gonna try it. I'm getting ballsy out here. Do you know what I mean? S rank. I did not have an S rank in fields, but it gave me an S rank because I decided to do Doom Gardens. Why does Ruins not give me the same courtesy? If you decide to go Scrapyard, you just lose your S rank run. That's tragic. Doom Gardens is tough unless you're running certain builds with certain weapons. Like, Battle Mantra on Elementalist with a windmill rifle with Buckshot, for example, is really good in Doom Gardens. But here we were, trying out Ranger with Shuriken. Doom Gardens can be really tough and can easily result in the loss of an S rank run, but the payoff is huge. It lets you get an additional skill point, it lets you get an extra crystal powder as of the Arsenal update, and it lets me get into the Aqua Station if I choose Ruins as my second area, which is what really I usually do on non-elemental runs. The key to S-ranking Doom Gardens is to keep on killing and not just run past everything. Enemies will drop yellow essence that reset your timer a little bit, and as long as you're properly managing the balance between speed and kills, you will get the S-rank with time to spare. It was right there that I noticed that Ranger might be S tier for going through Doom Gardens because your decoil will cause the enemies to flock to it, blow themselves up, and give you extra time. Whoa! Slow it down! Yoink! Explosion? They really wanted explosion damage? Uh, I'm down with dexterity. I'm down with some more reload speed on this thing. I assume the game expects you to take half the time to do that stage. Maybe I was just too slow? I don't think I was. I thought I was going pretty quick, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Poppy, baby! Woo! Shuriken time! Shuriken run all the way. Let's get it. This is about to get crazy. Definitely take copy there, right? Definitely take Fimble there. Alright, fellas. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Let's go do uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go this side. Our loot luck this run was insane. We ended up getting bull immediately after the marking capability gamble, and in one checkpoint we just got poppy, coffee, and thimble. All phenomenal items for this run. Oh guys, fellas, I'm feeling real good right now. And supreme critical, right? Yes. Supreme Critical is essential for this run, because not only does it increase our critical damage scaling with the amount of focus points that we have, 
but with the Hawkeye Augment, it also increases our auto-critical chance with the amount of focus points that we have, which is phenomenal for a weapon that cannot hit manual crits like the Shuriken. This is cookage. Our current maximum focus points are 21, and these can be increased through passives. These always get maxed out when I pop invisibility. Once I get Hawkeye, my auto crit chance will be 21% from focus points alone, plus another 20% from Poppy, plus another 10% from the intrinsic crit chance on Shuriken, making it so that I have a 51% auto crit chance. This will be increased to 86% on the last 25% of our shurikens, which would mean the last two, as of right now, because of cherries. Are you starting to see why you don't need to hit weak spots to have a crit build on Ranger? All this is also only factoring what we have in the build as of right now. To be a YouTube run? I mean, maybe, but I'm, I'm scared people are going to come into my comments and they're going to be like, Oh, was an S rank run, shitter, and then they're going to leave around the ruin section. Because, you know, YouTube brain. Let's get it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the damage is pretty good. The damage is definitely good. We are cooking out here. Oh, and there's potato. First time I've seen it today. Oh boy, credit card could be a lot of fun on this too. Credit card could be fun on this. I'm gonna say credit card. Um. I mean, they're gonna have to find another pair of shurikens or start heavily investing in the damage of this one because these are still like, what, level two shurikens? They're actually level five, but they are under leveled. So like, we, we've got a ways to go. We went Fusion Core because one, I love the soundtracks of the side areas as I said before, and I'm just finally going to be revisiting as many as I possibly can just because I have incentive to now. And two, is that incentive? I want more Crystal Powder. Fire Rate or Auto Crit Chance? Definitely Auto Crit Chance. And now that we have Hawkeye online, the math I showed you in Aqua Station will be active for the rest of the run until it is improved upon further in this build. Yeah, it's kind of cooking out here. Not gonna lie. Feels pretty good. And Kazoo. We, we, we take Kazoo all day. Kazoo's a banger. Now that we have Kazoo, we can light targets on fire without our weapon actually doing direct burn damage, and that pairs beautifully with Toaster, which increases non-burn damage by 25% when targets are burning. That was pain. Lost a lot of HP there. Wonder if I even get XP for these guys. I don't know. Uh, popcorn. I popcorn's pretty good. Popcorn's pretty good. Uh, Cause we do have bowl, correct? Yeah, we have bowl and we have toaster. So yeah, yeah. Popcorn's pretty solid play. Let's take that. This helps Toaster even more, because when Kazoo isn't burning, Popcorn will. Damn, dude. All my guy does is sleep. Look at him. Oh, you're so cool. You're so cool. I wish I could pet you. Uh, extra fire rate's always great. But I think we're going to hold off, just because 
I gotta save my I gotta save my power cells for an actual upgrade here. That's not what I wanted to do with RIP. We're okay. Keep her going. We're okay. Level up for easy heals. Critical cold damage. Yep, we'll take the crit damage. What do we have? Rapier. Um. As much as I do want to try the rapier, I'm already on poppy, so I can't even get the crits with the rapier that I'm supposed to. So, we're not going to take the rapier. I do want to try it a lot, though. It seems fun. Even though we have absurdly high auto crit, rapier is a crit-based melee weapon that was added with the arsenal update, and I'm thinking something like iris, where I want 100% guaranteed critical hits whenever I'm hitting it with the rapier. and. With, uh, with Poppy, that's just not going to be possible unless I get over 100% auto crit chance, which is only possible under certain circumstances. Okay. Boss fight time. This guy's always a bit tough. Am I still on cryo? Do I have cryo in this build? I do have cryo. I'll take cryo yo all day then, maybe. Um, I guess, yeah, we're gonna start upgrading the shuriken so it can actually do some real damage now. Let's go, Duke Nuker. Let's get it. The build is in a great place right now, so a boss fight against Duke Nuker is the perfect place to test its capabilities. Yeah, shurikens are pretty dope. I'm a big fan of the shurikens, that's for sure. It can. Ah, I'm funny. I'm here never, as Emily would say. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, shurikens are absolutely cooking. I love these things. Gathering yeah, for 35, or another power cell. You know, I'm okay with that. Because now I don't feel bad that I'm missing out. But ice cream, on the other hand, could be phenomenal. Ice cream could be a real banger of a, uh, a snag here. So I think we take that. Yes. For sure. <laughs> Those are not small damn numbers. You are right, Rukriov. Yeah, so we are absolutely cooking. Duke Nuker got destroyed, and we are only at Haven City, and our build will only go up from here. I would honestly say that Haven City is where your build starts to flourish. We don't even have our fourth individual perk that isn't an upgrade yet, so All right, this build still has a long way to go before it's fully realized. Uh, simple geometry, or nope, I think we do... I think we do True Shot, if I'm being honest. Am I missing something critical here? Is Shadow Strike, Beastral Ferocity, Supreme Critical. I guess I could do Favorite Weapon, but I mean True Shot, guys. True Shot. I think we do True Shot. True Shot's phenomenal because it doubles our damage for the next eight shots, which is our entire magazine as of right now, whenever I pop my invisibility. Meaning that we are going to shred anything we're looking at immediately after I pop invisibility. It basically means we get a full 
pouch or satchel, I don't know, magazine of shurikens that do double damage whenever we pop stealth. And that's a big deal. Maybe the next time we get the passive that uh, makes it so that whenever we throw, whenever we hit our javelin, it reduces our stealth cooldown, we get that. That way we just get more double damage on our shurikens. More often, I mean. Ooh, yes, Miss B, auto crit, let's go. Upgrade the shuriken. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that Goliath got deleted. That's because we have a 61% auto crit chance now that we have Miss B after I pop invis, and a 91% with cherries active. Yeah, I kinda kinda just got deleted, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Uh, more damage to flying enemies or increased fire rate whenever I take damage. That's tough. Uh, I think I'll do flying enemies because Iris flies. What is even happening? Uh, jerking, jerking stuff. Don't worry about it. Guys, shurikens suck. I, I think they need a buff, guys. Come on. They're in a really weak state, and they need a buff. Don't, don't... <laughs> don't tell them, don't tell them. Tell the devs. Or... Go, go tell the devs that they are super weak and that they're gonna need like a higher the fact that they can't crit by deep i mean they need higher crit right yeah <laughs> um do all this you're trying to max them by four tactical throw. i think we get tactical mm, i don't know what's better i don't know what's better just having 10 percent less so i'm it's like what a 12 second cooldown so 10 percent of that is a little over one, so that shapes one second off, or I can get two seconds off just by throwing javelins. Um, oh, I, I tactical throw. I'll take tactical throw. Bruh. <laughs> That's just crazy. Uh, what am I doing right now? Have I killed everything over here? I'm, I'm just wasting time. Time loss, time loss. I'm just reveling. I just don't want the run to end. That's why it's going to take forever. I'm going to miss not being with my weapons of mass destruction. The shuriken. Or my, my pea shooter weapons that need a damage buff. The shuriken. Rifle. Yeah, I haven't seen a single Goss Rifle, now that I think about it. Not a single one. Uh, here. I guess I'll take a Viking. I, I think we do enough burn damage already, because we have Kazoo and we have uh, Popcorn. We're constantly marking, because we have Bowl as well. I mean, this could just be the cherry on top. Mm, I think I'll I think I'll get a piece of cake. I'll get a piece of cake, sure. Mine as well. Oh 
which is certainly bigger. I mean, it was probably going to YouTube either way. Uh, the only thing is that I don't upload when numbers are big. I upload just because I like to upload. Oh, Cookie reduces grapple cooldown. Cookie actually has a use now, though. Okay. I upload just because I like to upload. It doesn't get determined by if my run hits like a million damage numbers or not. Just because I like to upload. Movement speed. Upgrade shuriken quality. I just gotta upgrade a shuriken level, honestly. It's still catching up. You're seeing an under leveled shuriken still. An under leveled shuriken without any perfume upgrades. Okay, Dex for reload speed or more true shot? And I think more true shot. I think I will absolutely take more true shot. We are tearing through District 13, and when I think of items that we need that directly complement our build, not much is turning up. Maybe we could find french fries or something so that we get decreased skill cooldown whenever we hit a crit every two seconds, but that's about it. I think I could have, like, booster or something on this. I mean, the rocket jump is... it's alright, but I'd rather have, like, booster or something fun. That just makes it do what it's already good at, but better. Okay, right. well that was a phenomenal ragdoll that I just spotted right there. Shock damage, no thanks. B cannon! I knew I was gonna like Shuriken. I knew it. I was calling him Kunai 2 for so long. Before they did their weapon reveal, I literally was in the Discord. I'm like, hey guys, <laughs> who's ready for Kunai 2 when Arsenal drops? And then they showed off the Shuriken, and I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's different enough from the kunai, don't get me wrong. It's not actually like just a better kunai. They're different weapons completely. But I'm still gonna call it kunai too. I mean. Let's see here, fire rate or next critical hit and six focus points. Probably. I don't know how smart it is. I really want to go fire rate. Uh, I should probably go supreme crit though. I should probably, I should probably go down the supreme crit route. But I feel like our fire rate's already pretty high. Reload speed? Yeah, we can increase reload speed. Sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Maybe I should have gone fire raid if I knew I was getting lighter. One of the reasons I didn't take the reload speed instead of, uh, or the fire raid is because I thought we'd spend more time reloading than we were shooting at some point. No, I already have frag prints. Um, I don't need any of those. Oh, fire cooldown. Don't want that. 
<sighs> wow, wow, wow. See, this is scary. Cause it's like, will it re-roll or will it just give me new ones? It re-rolled. That's not good. Whatever. You know what? Screw it. We got Cryo back. And we got Free Wheel. And we got Warm Up. And we got first. In big game. It's gaming time, baby. You hearing Modify Me starting in the back? Let's get her going. You're gonna see a God Roll Shuriken in action here. Yeah, these things really need to get buffed, guys. I, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but, like, they could just be a little bit stronger. I think they'd be in a pretty good place. Increased magazine size. Let's take it. Finally have a perfume on it, too. Is there not a perfume that increases uh, auto crit chance? Because I was really holding out for one of those. With the increase of mag size, cherries will apply to our last three shots now instead of the last two. Um... This damage is phenomenal, don't get me wrong, but imagine a world where we also had Chili Pepper. This thing isn't even at its full potential yet. Yeah, this thing's pretty, uh, weak. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. See, we just upgrade it because it's still okay. Now it's level 14. We're good to go. It is time for the Clash of the Titans God Roll Shuriken versus Iris. I don't know, guys. He's a buff. He's, I'm telling you, he's a buff. these now <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's, that's so goofy <laughs> that's the run i hope you guys enjoyed the video i definitely am in love with the shurikens and they are contending with kunai for my new favorite weapon let me know what your favorite weapon from the arsenal update is and why in the comments below 
If you did enjoy the video, please consider leaving a like and comment as it helps out the channel a bunch. And if you ever want to hang out live, check my Twitch in the description below. As always, I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. But, oh well. 30 minutes? Keep in mind, that was 30 minutes, but like 30 minutes with like two more areas. We went to.